Hey everybody, what's up? We had our first attempt at a pizza on the tandoori. It definitely wasn't a total fail. So you guys check it out and let me know what you think. It's really good. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And when you do, be sure to leave me a comment so I can reach out and thank you personally. And I want to thank Robert Harmer and Michael Hillsman. These are the guys who suggested that I try this. And I figured I'd give it a shot. Yeah, I figured what I would do is get the tandoori hot, try and get it up to about 500 degrees. Then I'm going to put a pizza stone on top of the tandoori using the uh, hanging grates to support the pizza stone. Then cover it, get the pizza stone hot, and hopefully time it right. So when I put the pizza on the pizza stone, and then I'm going to recover it with the lid that the stone won't be too hot and end up burning the bottom. And that's going to be the trick. So that's going to be the, the trick to see if I could pull this off. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up one regular brick with a fire brick on top of it to cover up this hole three quarters of the way, a little more than halfway, just to slow down the burn because I'm going to add a few more nice pieces of red oak, nice big chunks, and then I'm going to throw the baffle in and I don't want it to to rage too too hot in there because this thing will probably go eight over eight nine hundred degrees if you if you let it okay so the red oak is in and now we're going to toss the baffle plate back. And I'm going to throw the support bars on. I think I end up burning my hand over here. Kind of, you forget how hot the sides of this thing are right there. <laughs> so I'm going to throw the bars back in. And I'm going to throw the lid back on. And I'm going to let this thing warm up. I'm going to keep an eye on the temperature and try and get up around 500, you know, near 500 for and change. I opened it up just a little bit to let in a little more air just to get that red oak caught. Now, I'm going to throw the pizza stone on, let that heat up, and once again, hopefully time it right so it doesn't get too hot. Let's see what happens. And in case anyone was wondering, this is what a well-used pizza stone should look like. <laughs> Especially if you make a lot of stuff where the cheese drips out the side. Now I'm going to throw the lid back on and let the stone heat. While that's going on, I'm going to go inside and throw a quick pepperoni pizza together. And guys, I definitely want to give a shout out to Il Trio Restaurant and Pizzeria in Nesconset, New York, Long Island. They make a killer dough great pie so whenever I don't have time to make my own dough Il Trio is definitely a place I go to for it so check them out if you're nearby
Now, let's take a temperature reading of the pizza stone. And we'll see where we're at with that. Oh well, it's overloading. That means it's probably about 600 degrees, which is a little on the hot side. 500 coming out of the bottom, but the top's probably uh, about six. But we're going for it anyway, and let's see what happens, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. I don't know if that pepperoni on the side counts as a mini fail, but I'm sure you guys will let me know about that. We're going to check it. It's been a, not too long, but I know it's hot. Definitely isn't done yet. Wait a few more minutes. Really, uh, I started getting nervous. I didn't want to wait too much longer. top is cooked it's not as well done as I'd like it but I know the bottom is definitely gonna be borderline so off she comes Let's give it a cut, and you can definitely hear how crispy it is. There's no doubt about that. Well, the bottom's dark, but it's not burnt. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's it's close. I couldn't have left it on there any longer. But we tried it, and to be quite honest with you, I was pretty happy with it. So now I know I gotta shorten the amount of time that I'm letting the stone sit on there. I mean, it's tough. It only sat on there a little, a little longer than it takes to make a pizza. Well, maybe not. I was probably bullshitting. I was probably bullshitting with uh, my boy Louie a little longer than I thought. But next time we're going to leave it on a little bit shorter. And I think all, overall, the next one, I'm going to make another video. And the next one's going to come out just right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I want to thank you guys for suggesting it. And, uh... I'm definitely going to give this one a shot again. I also want to give a shout out to my boy Louie. Louie, thanks for coming by and helping me out. Oh my I know you God. always come, love coming shit. by and doing a little taste testing as the projects go on. So, I appreciate it, brother. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Alright, and do me a favor, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, and if you do, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know you subscribe so I can reach out and thank you personally because I really appreciate it. So until the next video, take care guys.